Welcome to the Big Data and Hadoop tutorial series presented by Coso IT. This video is focused on Apache Hive. In this section, we are going to talk about Hive overview. What is Hive? What Hive is not? We'll see the Hive architecture and data storage. Then we'll do some Hive QL commands. And also we're going to do hands-on in Hive. So Hive was originally developed by Facebook in 2007 to handle massive volumes of data. So Facebook data was growing at a very fast rate. It was it grew from 15 terabyte to 2 petabyte in a few years. So initially Facebook data processing infrastructure was built using a commercial re relational database and it was taking too long for daily jobs. So there was an urgent requirement of infrastructure that could scale along with data. So they started using Hadoop. But the biggest challenge was there that the users were not familiar with MapReduce and it was not easy as well as they had to write code in Java. So they started doing research to bring a tool similar to SQL because most of the people knew SQL. With uh, SQL it was really simpler to analyze the data and so Hive was born. So what is Hive? Hive is a data warehouse system built on top of Hadoop. So you can create database, tables, views, and also you can access and query this data. Hive has made analysis really easy of large data sets and ad hoc queries. It provides uh, a SQL-like query language called HiveQL, which has well-defined data definition language and data manipulation language like SQL. Another thing is that whenever you run Hive queries, they internally get converted to MapReduce jobs for execution. So users can also plug in their own custom mappers and reducers in the data stream in Hive. Now with Hive, you need not write complex MapReduce programs, neither you need to learn Java programming. So it has made it quite simpler. So basically Hive provides a mechanism to project structure onto Hadoop datasets. Finally, Hive was developed by Facebook and now it's a top level project under Apache. What Hive is not? Hive is not a full database. It's different from relational databases. Relational databases store data, but Hive uses data stored on Hadoop and does not uh, store actual data. Relational databases support both uh, on OLTP and OLAP transactions, while Hive supports only OLAP. So Hive is suited for data warehouse applications where there is no need for real-time responses to queries. So it's not a real-time processing system. Hive is based on Hadoop, so latency for Hive queries is very low. Hive is not 100% SQL. So HiveQL has limitations like inserts, updates, uh, deletes on row level are not provided by it. Also, it doesn't support transactions and has limited subquery support. Hive query optimization is still in evolving stage. So these are some of the limitations of Hive. Let us see Hive architecture. So Hive sits on top of Hadoop. On Hadoop side, we can see that we have HDFS and MapReduce. So your data basically resides on HDFS. And data analysis is done using MapReduce, using Job Tracker and Task Tracker. Though in Hadoop 2 now, Yarn has decoupled resource management and scheduling from MapReduce framework. So Hive is sitting on top of Hadoop and Hive side we can see that we can submit the queries in three different ways. One is command line interface CLI. Another one is Hive web interface. And the third one is Thrift server. So Thrift service gives you a flexibility to work with JDBC and ODBC connections. JDBC and ODBC are universal connectors. Anybody can access Hive through outside world using JDBC and ODBC. Now coming on to Metastore. 
meta store stores all the metadata of file so meta stores stores basically the definition of tables or databases created and number of columns etc then coming on to driver driver function is whatever the query is submitted it compiles optimizes and executes it so whenever you run a hypeql query it converts into map reduce and is then pushed into hadoop world data storage in hive hive stores data by creating databases tables partitions and buckets partitioning and bucketing is optional hive database is essentially just a catalog or namespace of tables in hive you can create two types of tables internal table and external table internal table is managed by hive that's why it's also called managed table but if you want that other tools also can access your data you can create an external table also coming on to partitioning and bucketing partitioning and bucketing in hive are used for basically improving the performance for example if you want to query restricting results to a particular country then instead of querying the huge data set we partition it by country then each partition corresponds to a particular value of partition column or columns and is stored as a subdirectory within the tables directory on hdfs now bucketing bucketing for example a table using date as partition and it's having a bucketing column as employee id so the value of this column will be hashed by a user defined number into buckets so records with same employee id will be stored in the same bucket then each bucket is stored as a file in partition directory hive ql hive ql is quite similar to sql so if you have good understanding of sql then hive ql is quite easy it has uh, data types like simple data types and collection data types in simple data types we have int boolean float string and binary type is different from sql dialects in the way that it doesn't have a where cap then it also has collection data types like struct map and array like for example if you have an address field you can define it as struct because it has city state and zip code as sub fields then if you have a deduction field you can define it as a map it holds a key value pair where key is the name of uh, deduction say federal taxes and value will be the percentage value of deduction let us see some basic hive ql commands hive ql has both ddl and dml commands like sql you can create tables create databases then you can use show tables command to get the tables present in the database then how to create a table in hive we see that we use this uh, query create table table name then you give the column names with the data types then you specify the row format delimited fields terminated by slash t and that is stored as text file here you can specify any type of file can be sequence file binary format file so here we are storing it as text file fields terminated by slash t this signifies the uh, specification the you format you have used in your file from which you will be loading the data into the table because you can't insert a row in hive that's why you need to specify a particular format in which your data is stored in the file after creating the table next step is that we are going to load the data from a file in hdfs or in local machine into the table as just created so we are going to write a command load data in path then specify the path name into table the table name this is how we are going to load the data from a file into the table let us create a hive table and uh, load the data into it let's open up the terminal and go to hive prompt i'm going to create a table ipl it has the fields player name it is of uh, type string then team name it is also of type string 
then runs and it is of type int. Row format delimited fields terminated by slash t. Okay, table is created. We can now uh, use the command to find out the schema or the path of the table where it is present. We can see it's present in HDFS in slash user slash hive slash warehouse directory. And it is of type manage table. Because by default, it, uh, it, if we create a table, it is called a manage table or internal table. Now, next we are going to load the data from our file to this table. I have created one file IPL, which is in, our, in my local machine. And it has data something like this. The player name, team name and the runs. And they are separated by tabs. That's why I have used fields terminated by tab. Now I am going to load this uh, file data which is present in my local system into this table IPL. For this I will be using command load data local in path and then the path of this is slash home slash cloud era slash IPL. It's present in the Cloudera directory with the name IPL. Into table IPL. So we can check whether our data is there or not. Yes, we have loaded the data into the table. Now we can also check because when we create a table in Hive, a directory is created in uh, HDFS also. So we will open another terminal and write the command Hadoop FS minus ls and go to the directory where this IPL file is present. It's by default, it goes and stores in slash user slash Hive slash warehouse directory. So here we see a file is created in under this directory IPL under slash user slash hive slash warehouse directory. So this is how we create a table in Hive and then load the data into it. Thanks a lot for watching our Hive tutorial. For more tutorials, please subscribe our YouTube channel or register for in-depth big data training with a real-time cluster on www.cosoit.com.